What is the crack lads and welcome back to another player pack review. So today we're going to be taking a look at the epic Manchester United players that they did release. So it's Brian Robson, Andy Cole and Dwight York. And I think lads, these could be, these could be insane players to add. Uh, I think just from looking at them, obviously they are optional. They are 100 coins to buy. Is there players that are similar or better or equal or nearly as good on the GP market for free if you're doing a road to glory or you're doing a free to play account? Definitely, definitely. And we'll get into that in a second over on eFootballDB.com. But some of the stats that these guys have are absolutely incredible. So we're going to take a quick look. I'm going to get rid of the camera, get rid of my ugly mug. And uh, we're going to take a quick look at Robson, Cole and York and see what they look like. Obviously, me being a United fan, I am going to be interested in these. And we will maybe spin one or two at the end. But let's see. Let's see what we do. Um, and I will talk to you just in a second. I'm just going to get rid of the camera as we go in to the next page right here. All right. So... Robson is who we're going to start with, right? All of these players obviously are epic cards, which is basically like a featured legend. So it's kind of like a player of a moment, um, you know, at a specific time. This is from the 83-84 season. Robson, he's a whole player. He's got 44 levels. That is the real kicker here. That means you can kind of train him up in multiple, multiple ways. Now, I'll show you what way I would possibly train him. Now, one thing I will say about him, right, is because he has the unwavering form on B, you are going to have him more often than not that he is going to be up for it. You know what I mean? He's going to be up for the match and he's going to be ready to rock and roll in that middle of the park. Is he better than Scolzi? I would potentially say yes. I think because there's a couple of different reasons. His balance is quite low there, um, but his stamina is quite high from the base stat. His tight possession is very good. His ball control and dribbling are very good. And I think his player skills are absolutely incredible for a CMF. He's got rising shot, he's got first time shot, and he's also got one touch pass, way to pass, and fighting spirit. So with the way that the game has gone at the moment, I think that it's going to be one of these things that you do need to have your midfield with a little bit of defensive awareness. If you're playing a two-man or a three-man midfield, uh, I definitely recommend kind of training up Robson like this. So we are actually going over to eFootballDB.com now. We're going to take a look at Robson when he's fully trained up. Now, this is how I trained him up. He goes from an 81 to a 95 overall. He has got 44 levels to go. And looking there at his stats, lads, absolutely insane stats for a center midfielder. I think somebody like Mataus is going to be better than him, just strictly because Mataus is more of a kind of an engine in midfield. But if you are looking for a kind of a like an attacking kind of center midfielder, if you have a defensive midfielder, if you're playing two kind of in the hole or in the pocket, and then you have one guy that you don't really want a full out attacking uh AMF or attacking midfielder because you have three forwards, you have two wingers and a striker. I think having like a kind of a, a man that can link the back and the front defense and attack is is vital, I think. So looking at his stats there, 82 offensive awareness, 76 defensive awareness, um, his kick and power, his low pass, his pass and speed, or his lofted pass, his acceleration and speed, his ball control and tight possession, and his aggression, very, very nice. So it is a very nice card. I definitely recommend if you do get him to train him up and max him out because yeah, he looks like an absolute beast. I am, I'm sure that he will be unbelievable. So uh, I definitely think, and I would recommend him. Moving on to the strikers, and these are probably the two pick of the, pick, pick of the packs, obviously, from the 98-99 season. As a United fan, I remember those glorious years, lads. Hopefully they're coming back now with Ten Hag, but let's see, let's see what happens. Now, Andy Cole is a goal poacher, right? And he's got a whopping 36 levels, right? Which... Yeah, I mean, this card looks really, really, really meta at the moment. And I think he is going to be meta. Um, I think, obviously, the meta at the moment is kind of like Rummenegi. Uh, I would probably say Mbappe, Haaland. You know, guys that have very, very nice stats uh, for a striker. Balance doesn't seem to be as much of an issue as it was in V1.0. So Andy Cole's, uh, Andy Cole's balance here is only 60. 
that's not a huge, huge deal, uh, in my opinion, because I think that, you know, the way that the game is playing at the moment, it's either you get past your opponent or you don't, like, because the defending is so OP and so strong. But look at his base core stats, lads. Absolutely incredible. Now, he doesn't have, like, a massive amount of player skills. He does have first-time shot, one-touch pass. He has rising shot, chip shot control, acrobatic finishing, uh, fighting spirit as well. So he's going to be able to fight from the front if you're pressing. Uh, but I don't think that he has as many player skills in terms of, like, dribbling-wise if you were looking to have an all-round kind of, like, striker such as Romario or Romanegi or Eto or someone like that. Like, he obviously isn't going to probably replace those guys. Guys. but if we actually do go over to eFootball DB and we take a look at his stats and what he goes into lads this is insane right absolutely insane because you've got 90 acceleration 90 offensive awareness 90 finishing 81 kick and power 72 tight possession and ball control 79 header 70 dribbling and 83 speed he's got three form obviously unwavering form as they all have and this is just his basic um, upgrades that you would want to have for 36 levels like you could obviously go up a little bit higher um if you if you take away a couple of his stats obviously we have him trained up here and we've given like 12 to speed to get it up to um to 90 overall but you could if you want to take away a couple of those and add to his head and ability you know add a load to his head and ability here so that he would be like an 85 in the air so you could it depending on how you want to play him you could turn him into a, a kind of a different player. I like these epic cars because there's so many player levels to play around with. I, I must say I'm a big fan of them. So I think that they are a step in the right direction. I would like to see, obviously, caps on how high the players can go. I think, you know, 92, 93 is... is uh, is a lot for these cards but uh yeah i definitely think andy cole is one to watch and then obviously when we go back to um dwight york which we'll look at in a second on the main page here we do have yorkie as well who looks really really nice and i think he's got a lot of the similar player skills he's got dipping shot and he has first time shot one touch pass heading chip shot control so they're very very similar players obviously they're from the 98 99 treble winning season they are very very similar players but they were very similar players in real life as well i would probably just say that yorkie was more of a kind of you know he was more of a guy that was like in the box rather than Andy Cole Andy Cole was like a really good link up man and he was a really good player um but yeah very similar you look at all their base stats there like both good in the air both fast both able to finish um not overpowered I think their balance is probably the one thing that would throw you off but with the way the way with the way the way with the way the game is playing at the moment I don't think balance is as apparent uh apparently noticeable as being an issue anymore you know i remember in v1.0 Haaland was was very very poor but now in v1 point or in v2.0 he is an absolute monster he's probably the best stri uh, striker in the game now one thing i will say about yorky that differentiates him from cole is his form which is only standard now he is on b rating so it shouldn't be too much of an issue but that is just something to keep an eye on as well so rounding us off with these epic manchester united players and reviewing them we do have yorky who is here on the eFootball db uh, website on the database and again he's very similar to Andy Cole so you can train him up in multiple different ways he's got 37 levels to go so one extra level and we have boosted up his speed and his acceleration so he's got 90 acceleration 90 finishing his ball control is extremely high if you look here we haven't really uh, upgraded it too much here like we have four put on it so potentially you don't even really need you know you don't even really need that I think Yorkie was more of a kind of an Mbappe style run and gun type player so depending on your play style but again that uh, that that is a really good card I think his jump his uh, header ability everything like that obviously he's low passing stats but uh, isn't going to be the highest but you know you, you shouldn't really need passing too much for for like excellent strikers that are just going to be turn and bring in other players into the game with very simple passes so that is it from me lads with the Manchester United epic player pack review let me know if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe i will talk to you later peace